Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We will continue to get to know one another. Tutaendelea kujuana zaidi. And I know that God has a word for each and every one of us. Na mimi najua kwamba Mungu analo neno kwa kila mmoja wetu. He has given us an opportunity to live in the year of restoration and demonstration. Ametupa nafasi nafasi ya kuishi katika mwaka wa urejesho na na kudhihirisha. And because of that we must understand our God-given purpose. Na kwa hivyo ni lazima tuelewe kusudi lake Mungu juu ya maisha yetu. If you don't expect you don't understand your god given purpose you may be passed by by the restoration and demonstration and my prayer this afternoon is that you will get to know what god is saying to you in your generation so we are talking about understanding you are my god given purpose. You are not doing it for another person. But you are doing it because you understand what God has for you. But it is important for us to begin by understanding that God knows each one of us. There is no one that God doesn't know. Our names are written in the palm of his arm. And because God knows us, he has a purpose for us. There is no way you can just be where you are to fill the earth. No. The one who created you. He has a reason and a purpose for your life. I was reading the book of Psalm chapter number 57 and verse number 2. If you read Psalm 57 and verse number 2. In NIV it says I, I, I cry out to God. I cry out to God most high to God who fulfills his purpose for me the writer says I cry out to God and the reason is crying out to God he realizes that the, it is only God who knows the purpose for his life and because God knows that purpose he will be able to fulfill that purpose someone say amen Jeremiah 29 and verse number 11 a verse that many of us love to quote the Bible says so I know the plans I have for you this is God speaking for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope in the future so this God who wants to fulfill his purpose in your life he knows the plans that he has for you there is a purpose he's looking for for you to fulfill. As you begin to understand your purpose, you must get to know that those, that purpose goes by the plan. What do you understand when we talk about purpose? When we talk about purpose, we are talking about the reason why something exists. Why do you exist? Why, you, why are you alive in 2020? What is the intention of God? What is the aim of God for you being alive? You are not a mistake. 
mistake. I'm not talking to people who are mistakes. Na mimi siongei na watu ambao wamepatikana tu. I'm not talking to people who are accidents. Wewe sio accident, wewe sio hatari iliyotokea. I want you to know. I want you to know my dear friends. Nataka unielewe rafiki yangu. Even if when you when you when your mother conceived you he had finished the work and you came and he said haka nikaajali. Aha, hata ikiwa mamako alikuwa amefikiria amemaliza kupata watoto na ukaingia akasema hii ni hatari. You are in the plan of God. You are not an accident and as far as God is concerned it was a surprise to your parents it wasn't a surprise to God and he knew there is a purpose you have to fulfill and he caused you to be born it is, it is not because God saw some space and he wanted the space filled that is not the thing you are not in the world to fill space Aha. you are in the world to fulfill purpose you must understand your purpose so that you can begin walking towards your purpose no one else can fulfill that purpose for you each and every one of us God has something for us to do women we cannot live in our pity party We can't live in our pity party. We can't live regretting why we are alive. You can't live wishing that you lived some years back. I want you to know you are the right person Aha. in the right place at the right time Na. for the glory of God. So never regret that you are born. Aha. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. Uh, hi, 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 it doesn't hi, matter the things that have hit around your uh, life. Hi, 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 you are in a season that God is just about to reveal you to the world. God is just about to show the world why you are born. If you believe it, say yes. They never knew you until now. When you come out, they will know she has come. When you are with myself. Nimekataa kujionea huruma. Hallelujah. Amen. I refuse to ask for pity party. Nimekataa kuuliza mmoja msherehekee mnionee huruma. Lakini hurumie tu. Ah ah. Wewe si kwa kuhurumiwa. Watu wa kuhurumiwa hawakai kama wewe. Ah you are not one to be pitied. You don't look like one. Lift up your hand and say I have a purpose. Eh kinua kidole Say like you believe it. I have a purpose. Sema niko na hatima. Glory be to God. Amen. It is your responsibility to discover that purpose. Aha, ni jukumu yako kuligundua lile hatima yako. I want you to know God in his own way. Anataka uelewe ya kwamba Mungu katika jia zake. He is a God yeah, ni Mungu. And he works all things. Na anapenda kila kitu. He works all things. Anatenda kazi na kila kitu including your life. Aha, na hiyo ina ina inahusu hata maisha yako. According to his purpose. Aha, na anayatenda na anayatekeleza kulingana na hatima yake. Can you imagine when God begins to work with you? Aha, ibu ibu fikiria Mungu anapoanza kutenda kazi pamoja na wewe. He works with you according to his purpose for your life. Aha, anatenda kazi ndani refuse to begin thinking i was i wish i was like so and so Ladies, listen to me you will never be so and so you can only be you you can only be you you can only be you Hello. Hello. Oh, I wish I was tall. Uh -huh. no, no, Don't wish man. you were tall. If you are short, just put on a high heel uh -huh. and just walk around. Those who have told you, Aki, you are too short. Come with a high heel. Uh -huh. Just walk around them. And let them know. Look at that lady next to you. Mwambie hiyo ni yako. Eh, mwambie wewe dada, hiyo ni yako. Are you getting me right? Stop wishing you at all. The tall ones. Wish they were short. 
Are you getting me right? Uh-huh. The dark one wale ambao ni weusi wish to have been brown wanapenda wangeta wanatamani wangekuwa sasa wewe unaharibu pesa lazima ni kuwe mweupe uh-huh. na wanapita around wanakwambia hey, black is beauty <laughs> tosheka wewe Tosh- uh-huh. are you getting me right yes wale ambao ni weusi wanajaribu kuwa weupe wafupi wanajaribu kuwa wa, warefu sasa wewe utatosheka lini ambia jirani yako tosheka mwambie kuna jukumu la maisha yako Are you getting me right? Amen. Are you getting me right somebody? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. My desire is to know God works according to his purpose. Tamani yangu ni kwamba nielewe Mungu utenda kazi kutimiliza hatima yake. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. There is nothing. Hakuna lolote. Completely nothing. Hakuna lolote lile. That happens ambao utendeka without god ordaining it ambao bila mungu kuliruhusu everything that happens chochote kile kinatendeka has been ordained by god imetauliwa naye mungu so you need to appreciate yourself and where you are and begin to look forward to serve the purpose of god for your life kwa hivyo kuanza kujipenda na kutamani na kupenda pahali ulipo ili uweze kutembea katika hatima yake mungu so you must begin by understanding na lazima uanze na kuelewa that god has a purpose for you ya kwamba Mungu analo hati majua ya maisha yako. Stop thinking your file got lost. God is my file is still there. Aha. Uh-huh. Usifikirie ya kwamba file yako ilipotea mpaka unaulizia Mungu kwa nini file yangu ilipotea. God is not Kenyan clerks. Aha, uh-huh. Mungu sio Kenyan clerks wale wanapotezaka file. Hello. Hello. You went to the Ministry of Health your file got lost. Uh-huh. Ministry uh-huh. of Works your file got lost. Uh-huh. Listen, God has no clerks like Kenyan's clerks. God knows who you are, where you are, what concerns you. Mungu hajapoteza faili yoyote yule sababu hafanyi kazi kupitia makarani. Hallelujah. Mungu, unaweza kufika Ministry of Health unaambia huna file, Ministry of Water. Lakini Mungu wetu atendi kazi vile. Ya na kuelewa na kujua na jina na na hati majua ya maisha. So yako. understand there is a purpose for your existence. Elewa ya kwamba kunalo kusudi juu ya maisha yako. And that is what God wants to fulfill in na your life. Na ndio Mungu atamani kudhihirisha ndani ya maisha yako. You need to know. Unastahili kuelewa that God watches over you to perform his works. Ya kwamba Mungu akutazamia ili ukatende kazi zake. So don't just sit there. Usikae tu hapo ndani. You must arise and begin to do Lazima something. Lazima inuke inuke na uanze kutenda kazi zake Mungu. You may Mungu. be asking how do I understand my purpose and uh-huh. you are just seated. Uko hapa ume kiti unashindwa mimi nitaelewaje hatima yako na umeketi tu pale akinangojea tu Mungu anifunulie uh-huh. anifunulie riama katolo zaka uh-huh. na wanauliza watu wa kufundisha Sunday school hutokei uh-huh. watu wa kuimba kwaya hutokei watu wa ku- uh-huh. i look for Sunday school okay. teachers you don't arise you people to the sing choir. in the choir you don't show up begin to sing in the choir they say you are croaking uh-huh. it is okay uh-huh. you will sing uh-huh. better one day wasema una sauti itakuwa mwanmimbi ya Mungu in order for you to understand your purpose you must be doing something. Eh, ikiwa utaelewa hatima yako lazima uanze kutenda jambo. Women listen to me. Wamadada nisikize. Women are great people. Aha, wadada ni watu wa nguvu. But it is it is it is illegal. Lakini ni ni kinyume na sheria. For a woman just to sit there and do nothing. Aha, mwanamke kuketi tu hapo na attend nothing. We will prosecute you. Ewe tutakutelepeleka kwa chini. You are filling our space for nothing. Wewe unajaza space for bure. The the seat is just about to complain. Aha, kitu unakalia tayari kinaanza kunungunika. What can you stand one day and do something? Usimame, usafanye kitu. Until the seat knows you by name mpaka kuna kiti yako mpaka inakujua na jina you must arise and do something lazima uinuke utende jambo in the process of doing something unapoendelea kutenda jambo you will get to know what you can do better utajua ni libi pia unaweza kutenda vyema zaidi are you getting me somebody unanielewa if you are doing something ukiwa unatenda jambo you will get to know what can you do better utakuja kuelewa ni nini ambalo unaweza kufanya vyema zaidi but you must begin by doing something lakini ni lazima uanze kwa kutenda jambo so that you can accomplish the reason for why you are bo- you were born ili ukamilishe uh, sababu yako kuzaliwa on the same line uh, kupitia hapo hapo you cannot accomplish something uwezi ukatimiliza lolote by just saying i don't know uh, kwa kusema mimi sijui one day i will know uh, siku moja nitajua y- you uh, please sister keep praying for me uh, dada yangu zidi kuniombea yani every group in this church every team in this church group 1 up to 53 they have your prayer request aha uh-huh. yani kutoka kikundi namba 1 mpaka 53 wote wanaombea mtu mmoja dada katika kanisa ati nataka kugundua kwa nini niko hey. alive aha uh-huh. look at your neighbor, I want to say discover neighbor. what is my purpose in life 
I hope the pastor is not talking about you. Ah, mimi naona kama pastor anaongea juu yako. Mwambie neighbor wako hivyo. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Kimi I just want to know why I'm here. Eh mimi nataka tu nijue ni kwa nini niko mahali hapa. You can't know by doing that. Uwezi kujua kwa kunena pale na kuketi. I've already said you are not a mistake. Amesema wewe sio. I've already said you are not an accident. Wewe sio accident. So it means there must be something for you to do. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kunalo jambo lako binafsi la kutenda na kufanya. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. From today take initiative. Kuanzia leo nataka uanze uh, kujiandaa. Arise from where you've been seated. There is a lot that you can do and while you're doing it you will understand. Kunalo jambo unaweza kuwa unafanya na unapoendelea kulifanya utaelewa. When you see some of us preach We did not just drop from heaven. We did not just drop from heaven. We began by preaching to cupboards in the house. You, you just lock yourself in the bedroom and you begin in Jesus name. But don't you think you look like Mogoroki? It's okay. Out of it, I have become who I am. There are things you can do but you must begin doing something. Kunalo mambo ambayo unaweza kufanya lakini lazima uanze kwa kufanya jambo. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana So what am I saying? Ninasemaje? You should be ready. Unastahili kuwa tayari. And willing. Na wewe unapenda to do something. Kufanya jambo. Remember ready and willing. Uwe tayari na uwe unapenda. You should not be that lady when people ask you to do something, you're saying I'm not good in it. Aha, usio yule dada akiambua afutende nyama, najua mimi sijui na hata sijui. Those who are good in it. Wale ambao ni wazuri kwa kutenda. They began by doing it. Walianza kwa kutenda. And they became better. Na wakawa wanakuwa mashuhuri kwa kila siku. You think this who are putting on uniform, they just woke up in the morning and they said put on uniform. They began to think how do we want to look? They put things together and when they came all of us are are happy on how they look aha mnapoona how school girls wamefanya uniform na tie mnafikiria waliamka tule wakavaa waliketi wakafikiria na wakajiandaa wangeshi vaa va skirt na tie oh wanjiro tunataka kuvaa skirt waliambiana paka kala aha hello amen look at your neighbor say neighbor neighbor do something fanya jambo Mwambie be willing to do something. Uwe unatamani kufuatia jambo. Don't be the, the lady who gives excuses Usiwe, in every place. Usiwe wale wanatuaga vizababu kila pahali. Every time you ask for something, you have an excuse. Are we going for the ladies meeting? I have a chama. Are you going for the ladies meeting? We have cousins meeting. When will you ever go? Eh, uh, usiwe wale ambao wanakuaga na sababu kila wakati unapoalika kwa mkutano. Oh. Wa kwanza ni kwamba unaenda chama. Ingine ni kwamba uko na cousins meeting, ingine so, ni hiyo ingine. The other one you know it yourself. Yeah. Even when you are here you are saying I've really sacrificed. Eh, yeah. hata ukiwa hapa unasema vile umejitolea. Look at your neighbor say neighbor. Eh, yeah. angalia neighbor. Ni huyo ni wewe. You know those ladies who say I've, I really sacrificed. Hey, oh si my God, wajua. I wish you knew what I have. Listen, everyone is busy, but out of our busy schedules, we must arise and serve the purposes of God for our lives. I want you to know, if you are not busy, then we don't need you. We need people who are busy. Even when Jesus chose disciples, he did not pick those who are seated by the Lord. He was choosing those who are doing something. Matthew, Matthew was a tax collector. Peter, Peter was fishing. At least all of them had something they were doing until they became disciples. What are you doing? Hallelujah. Amen. I want to know my purpose. You won't know until you do. Atina undeketi pale nataka nijue kusudi langu utalijua mpaka uanze kulifanya. Just come and begin sweeping the church. Aha, wengine waanza na kufagia church. Just come and see if the seats are in a straight line. Aha, kuja uhakikishe viti vimepangwa kwa line nzuri. And then when you have done it we come and say guy this girl she's Aha. done so well they are very straight. Oh, kifanya kaku ya tujanga. You are already doing something. Huyu msichana amefanya kazi nzuri. Hizi viti zimekaa straight. Look at your neighbor say what are you doing? Aha, uliza dada yako. 
Wewe unatenda nini kanisani? Huyo dada ameanza kukujamia. Ameanza dada usijamu. Ah uh, usijamu dadangu. <laughs> Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. So how do you become, get to know and understand your purpose? Niaje kulijua kusudi lako na kulielewa? Get uncomfortable with the normal. Ukue usta, uski uko nyumbani na mambo ambayo ni ya kawaida. Get uncomfortable with the normal and find some place where your gifts can shine. Aha, usikae tu ile hali ya kawaida. Tafuta pahali ambazo vipaa vyako vitaanza kutenda kazi. There are people who are just comfortable. Kuna watu ambao wanakaa tu starehe. And they say me I don't want to be known in church. Ehe, I wan... come and sit at the back. Na wanasema mimi hatastaki kujulikana kanisani nitakuwa nakuja kanisani na kiti kule nyuma. You remember those two girls Una... in high school they had said they would just stay at the back. Unawakumbuka skit ya wale wasichana wawili walikuwa wanataka kwenda kanisani lakini wakaenda. Thank God for the service leader he saw them just talking. Tuwashukuru Mungu kwa Christian Union leader aliwaona wakiongea. At least they were doing something. Na lakini aliwapata wanapofanya <laughs> because they were talking and the leader said can you tell us something aha na leader akapata nafasi akamwambia si mtuambie jamu naona mnaelewa sana na walipoanza kujitega na miguu yao wenyewe wakapatikana aha walipo hata wewe utapatikana tu ukifanya kitu amen are you getting me right amen are you understanding what i'm saying wanipata mwanielewa be uncomfortable usiwe stare like i want to do Patika something there is something within me i want it to come out kuwe na kitu kina kukoroga mpaka mm-hmm. unainuka unasema i must do something aha mnanielewa jamani korogeka mpaka useme lazima nitende jambo ambie huyo dada korogeka korogeka mwambie korogeka korogeka mwambie kuna kitu ndani yako na jambo ndani yako unanielewa jamani Amen. usiwe kama yule dada unakunywa chai duvia na kuna sukari chini ehe alafu ikienda umalizie ushaiona wa watu umengangana we si waduvia lakini kwa sababu kwa hiyo nyumba hujui kama wana sukari hutaki kuwa embarrass so we unaendelea na kaduvia unaendelea alafu ukienda pale mwisho ukienda kuisha inaanza kuwa na sukari unasema gai fafa bidi kuwa na sukari tell that tell that neighbor kuna sukari ndani yako mwambie koroga wacha kunywa duvia wewe Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says star the gift that is within koroga. you. Tunaelewana? Yeah. Ambia huyo dada dada. Dada. Wacha kunywa duvia. Wacha kunywa duvia. Ukiwa na sukari ndani yako. Ukiwa na sukari ndani yako. Alafu unaona kama ni yaani unaona nika unatupea testimony guy. Imagine aki ilikuwa na sukari, yeah. aki jamani. <laughs> Hello? Hello. You want to discover your gift when you are 50, 60 and you can't run. Unasema I wish ningejua nikiwa 30. You can't go back to 30. Wewe unataka kutambua kipa yako ukiwa miaka 60 ama 50, Una, unasema ningejua ningekimbia. Lazima ugundue. Mwambie jirani yako jua sasa. Mwambie jua sasa. Jua sasa. So you must be uncomfortable. Lazima usikae usikie hapa. Find a place ahe. where your gifts can shine. Au tafute mahali ambapo kipa chako chaweza kungara. Number two, deep become dissatisfied na ukae hujatoshereka become dissatisfied with where you are usitoshereke na pahali ulipo there are things you are doing where you are kuna mambo unatenda pahali uliko the place where you are is too small for na you na pahali uliko ni padogo sana kwako so you must arise and begin to extend your borders aha mka na uendelee kueneza uh, you can only do that yako. if you are dissatisfied with where you are na utafanya vile ukiwa hutakuwa na starehe pahali allow uliko. yourself to be pushed to your god given purpose na ujiruhusu kusukumiwa katika hatima yake Mungu katika maisha yako there things that must begin to push you ni mambo kuna mambo lazima yaanze kukusukumia and as they begin to push you na you ina... must become an dissatisfied na inapoanza kukusukuma lazima usitoshereke don't begin pale. to tell women me i'm okay uh-huh. you know i've been here here go here come hapa ndio najulikana hii jira ujirani siezi ondoka a uh-huh. a be dissatisfied usitoshereke na mahali ulipo sasa unasema mimi hapa ndio nimekaa zima man miaka yote na sitaki kwenda kwa ujirani mwingine be dissatisfied usitoshereke dadangu listen to me somebody your, your, your husband is telling you i'm thinking we need to get a place and move from where you are alafu unajua hapa ndio niko na marafiki wewe a a be 
want to get satisfied. Umekaa nyumba ya bedroom mbili, unataka kujengewa bedroom tano. Unasema kama si zima man. Wewe si ujengewe tano utokage huko na gari unakuja zima man. Alafu Hello. Hello. Nani alisema ukiama uwezi kuja kanisa hapa? Aha. Uh-huh. Look at your neighbor say neighbor. Uh-huh. Is she talking about you? Anaongea juu yako. Nakatalia zima mane. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu You must kiwe. refuse to be satisfied and allow yourself to be pushed. Kata kata kujisikia uko starehe na ujiruhusu kusukumwa. When you are being pushed it is not sweet. But let me tell you after you have been pushed you will say I thank God I accepted it. Lakini ukisukumwa utamshukuru Mungu ya kwamba ulipata mtu ah mtu ama jambo la kukusukuma. You cannot remain on the same level of your job. Aha huwezi kaa tu katika kiwango moja kazini mwako. Just because you've been working as a messenger for 30 years. Ah sababu umefanya kazi kama messenger miaka 30. You need a new challenge. Ni lazima upate You need to push yourself into a new challenge. When you get challenged that's when you begin to know I can do better than I was doing. Au ukipata ile changamoto ndio utaelewa kwamba unaweza kutimiza ama kufanya kazi vyema kuliko So whatever you are doing in church today. Kwa hivyo lolote unalotenda kanisani. Don't be contented. Usikae tu. Allow situations to push you. Ah uruhusu mambo ya kusukume. And sometimes the situations that will push you will be the sisters talking about you in that group. Ah na mambo yangine ambayo itakusukumia hatima yako ni wadada kuongea juu yako. Akiwa dada wanapenda kuongea juu ya watu kwani wataongea juu ya miti na wewe unakasirika una tu si watu waongee juu ya ma- watu Ehe. they can't talk about trees they will talk about Awezi you ongea juu ya miti you need to know why are they talking about me Ehe. i may be overdue where i am i need to move aha unajiambia ukiona wameanza kuongea juu yangu ni kwa sababu nimekamilisha kazi yangu hapa na stahili kusonga ubaya wa wadada si hawa wako hapa wale wako huko bali nitatoka hii kanisa hii kanisa nitahama Una hakika utahama? <laughs> Look at your neighbor say neighbor. neighbor. I hope that is not you. Natamani sio wewe huyo. Just because we talk about you. Ati sababu tu tumeongea juu yako. You are saying you will go. Ati unataka kuhama kanisa. This is this church people are not saved. Eh eh hii kanisa hata watu hajaokoka. If they were saved they would not be talking about hey, people. Eh yangekuwa ameokoka angekuwa ananena juu yangu. Listen you just do good. Wewe ufanye mema. I tell people and let me tell you. Eh mbeni huambia watu na nawaambia leo. You do good. Ufanye mema they will talk. Wataongea. You do bad. Ukifanya mabaya wataongea. You don't do. Ukisipofanya they will talk. Wataongea. Si ufanye mema basi si waongee. Just do good. Aha. Uh-huh. You stop you, you stop doing they will say she does nothing. Imagine. Aha. Uh-huh. And then you begin doing anajionyesha. Ukiacha kufanya they will wanasema unafanya So when they talk she ati anajifanya ndio anajua fanya zaidi. Aha uh, ukifanya wanasema unajionyesha. Ukifanya zaidi wanasema unazi. Mimi mimi nitaacha hii kazi kwani unafanyia nani? Ati mimi nitaacha hii kazi unafanyia nani kazi kanisani? Hello. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. People who want to understand their purpose. Watu ambao wanatamani kuelewa hatima yao. They continue doing what they are supposed to do. Wanaendelea kutenda ambao wanastahili kufanya. They don't give up even when everyone is talking. Hawakufi moyo wanasonga hata kila mtu akinyoa. Even when they say you wanted them to see your good dress. Hata wakisema ulikuwa walikuwa mlikuwa nilikuwa nataka muone nguo yangu mzuri. Haki watu wengine ati wanatuvalia hapa ndio tuwaone. Kwani angekuja Hello. Hello. Ukivaa mbaya tutaongea. Vaa nzuri tutaongea. Si wewe uvae tu vizuri. Uh-huh. Can you imagine ukitokelezea bila nguo? <laughs> Ati wanaongea haga tu. Nikivaa nzuri wanaongea. Nikivaa mbaya nitatokelezea. Nita wewe tunajua umegoroka. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Kwanza ukisema umevaa nzuri ba kengine kazuri zaidi. Amen. Eh? Bwana sifiwe. Wakienda kulala wanakumbuka kiwio. Si alikuwa smart. <laughs> Na sisi tutakuombea utoe kiwaru. Utuambiage tuko smart. Smart. Unajua pengine pengine your purpose is just to encourage someone who is smart. Mhm. Na plus hatima yako ni kwa encourage wadada ambao wamevaa vyema. Lakini wewe we, we, umeumwa na kiwaru. Just because watu wamekumwambia. Utanyongwa. Utakufa. Wachana na mambo mengi. Wachana fanya na... kile unaweza fanya. Aha. Kama wadada wananiamini sema amen. Amen. 
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. God is calling us Mungu atuita. to arise and get to know what he wants us to do. And then how do you do that? You must get to notice what people say about you. You get to notice what people say about you. Because many times people will always say she's very good in this. Who's, who, in fact, if you are a, a caterer or you are the one who serves food, they will always ask when is she serving? Uh -huh. She does it so well. Ikiwa Listen to the comments cha, people give cha, about what you do. Ikiwa wea ni caterer Watu watauliza kila saa kwa wapi sababu wewe chakula yako inapendeza If you are, if you if you are a Sunday school teacher the children will always go and tell their parents oh teacher so and so is so nice other teachers may not like it but the children love you listen to what people say Aha unaweza kuwa ni mwalimu wa Sunday school na watoto wakupenda kila saa kwa wazazi wanasema na teacher fulani ni mwema sana So when they are talking about things that seem to be what is in you Uh, begin to work on those things. Because you realize everywhere you go, people comment about something about you. Continue being good in it. You will excel by continuing to put in more effort. Blessed be the name of Jesus. That is why you should not complain when people talk about you. They may just be helping you to understand your purpose of living. Because the gifts that are in your life and the talents that are in your life they must find an expression somewhere. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So you are gifting and your talents and, to, and when you hear people talk about some things that you do you just need to ask yourself do they agree with my passion when they talk about your food and you cook nice is it your passion when they talk about some of the things you have done is it your passion if it is your passion then that is the giftings and talents that you need to find a place to allow them to work so some of you are still praying I am seeking the will of God God has already revealed his will through a sister he has spoken to you you are through other people who are commenting on your gifts. Take notice. Sikiza. Amen. Amen. You need to do that. You will understand your purpose. What are the things and activities that interest you? Are there things you do and you can do them even when you, they woke you up in the night? Before I stopped working, I was a teacher professionally and I used to teach maths and English even if you woke me up at 1 a.m. and gave me mathematics I would, teach, I would even teach in my sleep if you told me to do something I would do it as long as it is English and maths because those are the things that interested me uh, yes I'm a pastor but I still teach today I teach our Bible school and I still teach English even before I came here I had a lesson in the morning English. I was teaching imperative patterns delayed subjects Hello. Ah, yeah. Some of you are saying which one is that? English. Are you getting me right? Amen. Pattern variations. Uh -huh, Why do I teach? Because it interests me. Uh, what am I sana. saying to you? What interests you? Na Don't sema, continue kire praying. Kire what kinato, interests you is what you should do. Kire kinato kufrahisha ukitenda. Hiyo ndiyo kitaranta yako ndiyo kipawa yako. Wacha kutusumbua na prayer Wacha request we. Tumekuombea. Tunakuombea January paka December. Tukikuuliza unaanza kutupatia.
part ya scripture unajua mapenzi ya Mungu the timing of God is the best na unazeeka at nyakati za Mungu ndio mzuri unafanya hiyo kazi lini okay look at your neighbor say neighbor uh, angalia neighbor mwambie miaka inasonga eh buni ujue miaka ya inasonga tunaelewana There are things you should not be praying about. Kuna mambo ustahili kuwa unaomba You just need to arise and do them. Ni kuinuka na kuyatenda. So what activities interest you? Ni mambo gani yeye inakuvutia? What are the the things you do and you do them feeling that this is what I need to do? Ni jambo gani unapolifanya unasikia umesisimka? You go home when you feel fulfilled of what you did. Na kurudi nyumbani unasikia wewe umekamilika. You need to arise and know that is what God wants you to do. Ah, ustahili kuinuka na ujue hiyo ndio mapenzi ya Mungu juu ya maisha. Use your gifts within you. Aha, tumia kipaa chako kilicho ndani yako. Allow them to grow. Na ukiruhusu kikue. They don't grow in a day. Na hazikui kwa siku moja. They will grow. You know, I love what my bishop says. He says sometimes when he listens to himself, Aha. the sermons he preached in the 70s, 80s, he wonders why people listened to him. Aha, mimi ushangaa bishop wangu anasemaga ya kwamba uh, sermons ama maubiri ya ubiri 70s anashangaa ya kwamba alikuwa na washirika waliopumzika. Can you imagine now you listen to him? Ukimsikiza leo. He has become better. Why? Amen. He continued doing what was in him and continued growing it and that is why it has come out that way. Aha. Ni kwa nini anaonekana bora sasa? Ni sababu aliendelea kutendeza kazi ile kipaa cha kuhubiri mpaka sasa amekuwa bora zaidi. Grow what is within you. Aha, ukikuze kipawa kilicho ndani yako. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. There is no one among here. Hakuna moja wetu hapa. That has nothing in him. Ambaye hana chochote kile Mungu ameweka ndani yake. Are you getting me right? Unanisikia? You are is just to begin to stir yako what ni, is within you. Yako ni kuanza kukoroga ili begin to work yako. on it. Begin to do what is supposed to be done. When we see you two years from now, you will have excelled in whatever you are doing. So don't sit there and waste time. Do something. Glory and honor be to Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because God has a purpose for you. He will always connect you in a way that your giftings may find expression. Aha, Mungu anahakikisha kwamba amekuletea amekuleta katika hali vipaa vyako na talenta zako zitahivika. He will connect you in a way. Atakuunganisha in kwa njia in a way that you must fulfill your purpose. Lazima utatimiza hatima yako. No one in the whole world. Hakuna yeyote katika ulimwengu mzima. No one among these people that are listening to me. Hakuna yeyote katika katika timu yenu mnayonisikiza. It doesn't matter who has been threatening you. Na hakujalishi It doesn't matter who doesn't like what you do. It doesn't matter who does not support what you do. Listen to me somebody. No one Hakuna yote has the capacity of killing God's purpose in your life. Ambaye ana nguvu za kuwa hatima ya Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Hakuna yote. It doesn't matter who stands against you. Even if it is the devil himself. He does not have the power. He does not have the will to finish what is within you. Hakumaliza kilicho ndani yako. Someone say amen. What is within you must grow. Aha kilicho ndani yako lazima kikoe will make sure he connects you yeah. with the people that will encourage you to grow your talent. Na Mungu atahakikisha kwamba analeta watu katika maisha yako ambao atakupitia moyo uweze kukua. Therefore you shall not die until you fulfill your purpose. Na sikia hili hautakufa mpaka utimilize hatima yako. You must fulfill your purpose. Lazima utimilize hatima yako. Blessed be the name of Jesus. No one will frustrate you. Hakuna ambaye atakukusha. God's purpose in your life must be fulfilled. Aha, hatima yake Mungu lazima ikamilike. I'm looking at women who will refuse to listen to people around them when they are speaking negative, when they are telling you you can never make it, when they are telling you you have no way, when they tell you we put roadblocks, we put obstacles, I am here to let you know Jehovah will lift you up and usher you into your purpose. Amen. Usiwasikize wanaoposema uwezi huna huna uweza lakini waamue na ugojee Mungu akileta hatima yako. There is a God in heaven. Amen. Somebody there is a God in heaven. He answers our prayer. He pushes us into our destiny. He fulfills his purpose in our lives. You must arise. You must refuse to go down. You must arise. It doesn't matter. They will tell you you are just a 
woman. I refuse to be just another woman. I am a woman with a difference. I am a woman anointed. I am a woman with the power of God. I am a woman in the direction of God. You must arise. Hallelujah. Amen. Stop apologizing for being a woman. Oh, you know I'm just a woman. Oh, you know us women. I refuse to join your company. Someone say I'm a woman with a difference. Me, I'm a woman with a difference. Say it like you believe it. Mimi ni mwanamke wana tofauti. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. If you looked at some examples of people who understood their their purpose in God, you will realize that there are many. And they had a lot to do in order to kufanya. discover those talents. At your own time, we will read uh, uh, Hebrews chapter number 11 from verse number 23 to 28. Hebrews chapter 11, kwanzia 23, 23 to 28. 28. When you read that scripture, you meet a man by name Moses. Moses. Somebody say amen. Sema amen. Moses Musa. was born in difficult situations. Hali ngumu sana. The children were being killed. Watoto na they were being killed. Any male child was being killed. Na but Moses was born at such a time. Lakini Musa Moses' his parents understood that Moses was not an ordinary child. The Bible says, by faith, by faith Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid because they saw something in Moses I am here to tell you you are not an ordinary woman you are not an ordinary woman there is something special within you so whoever planned to kill you will never kill you. It doesn't matter how many others are dying. You are not dying. You are not an ordinary woman. The power of God rests upon you. The glory of God is upon you. Say I'm not ordinary. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. I am not ordinary. Blessed be the name of Jesus. God had a purpose for baby Moses. And the parents had to protect him. And protect that purpose. Whatever it took. However difficult it was. They made sure they protected us. And that is why I'm saying. God is willing to protect what is within you. Even in difficult situations, God will protect what is within you. Glory be to God. Amen. Moses understood. Moses He understood there was a divine purpose in his life. If you look at verse number 24, Moses, after realizing he was not an ordinary child, the Bible says by faith Moses when he had grown up what did he do? can you read together with me three go? Uh -huh. refused to be known he did as the son of Pharaoh's daughter what did he do? he refused he refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter he understood what was in him was greater than being in the Blessed be the name of Jesus. Moses, when he was grown up, understood the purposes of God. Even when he was in Egypt, you may be in difficult situations. You may be surrounded by many things. But you must understand. You must know what is within you. What God wants to do within you. It is your responsibility to understand God's given purpose for your life. 
Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Wherever you are. Pahali ulipo. Oh, you know in our church. Unajua sikanisa ni wewe. They don't even give opportunities to people. Hata hapianagi nafasi kwa watu. Oh, there are those who are favorite. Kuna wale wanapendwa. Oh, there are those who are on the front line. Kuna wale wanakuwa. I want to declare over you. You may be at the back. But God will get you out of there and bring you to the front because of what is in you. You may not be the best among the best, but there is a God in heaven. He knows who you are. He's getting you from wherever you are. If you believe it, say, yes, Lord. Moses in Egypt. Musa katika Misri. He discovered who he was. Discover who you are. Stop blaming others. Get to discover who you are. Moses became dissatisfied. He refused to be called the Pharaoh's, the son of the Pharaoh's daughter. He was dissatisfied. It doesn't matter what was in the palace. He had everything around him. He was in the palace where everything was being given to him but he got dissatisfied may you get dissatisfied even when you are being given everything even when everything is around you be dissatisfied refuse to be called what people want you to be called glory be to God you know if you are the one and the Israelites are going through a hard time you would have refused to be named among the Israelites. Moses Moses' parents. The mother when he was taking care of Moses as a nanny, he was telling Moses every now and then, you are not an Egyptian. You are an Israelite. That is why Moses knew who he was. You must know who you are. Even if you are among the heathen, stand for your testimony. Refuse to compromise your standards. Women, listen to me. It doesn't matter what you are getting easy. I am here to say, if you are a child of God, refuse to compromise. Refuse to accept what the devil is offering. You know nowadays, it depends on who you know. I refuse. Moses refused. Moses he knew I will, I will rather suffer Moses with God's people. I am here to say, women, if you are born again, Mama, preserve your testimony. My sister, protect your Yada testimony. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Moses knew who you are. He was. Do you know who you are? Why are we living in a world where Christians are compromising? Why are we living in the world that we don't want to testify about who we are? We don't even want to walk with our Bibles. Because you know people will know I am a Christian. You, you cheat us even with Amulika Muizi, my Bible is in the phone. We know your Bible is not in Amulika Muizi. Just carry your Bible. It may look old fashioned, but it is the word that has kept us. It is the word that has made us who we are. Learn to live your testimony. Someone say amen. amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When God has a purpose for you, I said he will connect you in a way that you must fulfill that purpose. I have a question for you. Who are you connected to? Who speaks into your life? Who are you connected to? Who is helping you to discover and find out your purpose? 
Ukiingia kutafuta na kuelewa hatima yako. You must be connected to the right people. Ni lazima uunganishwe na watu ambao nafaa. Who are your friends? Marafiki yako ni nani? Because your friends determine who you are. Sababu marafiki wako wanaeleza vyema wewe ni nani. People you choose to connect with determine where you are going. Wale watu ambao umejiunganisha nao wanaonyesha pale If you are connected to wrong people, ukiwa umejiunganisha na watu hafai, you will not do the will of God. Haya hutafanya hutafanya mapenzi ya Mungu. To know church. Na ninataka ujue kanisa. You can only understand the will of God. Uwezi kuelewa mapenzi ya Mungu. You can only understand the purposes of God for your life. Unaweza tu kuelewa hatima ya Mungu katika maisha yako. If you are connected to this God. Ukiwa umeunganishwa na huyu Mungu. Are you connected to this God? Je, umeunganishwa na kwake huyu Mungu? Is he your Lord and your Savior? Je, umeokoka kwa Why do you want to know a divine purpose but you don't have the divine one within you? Aha unasta unafikiriaje utakuwa na hatima ya kiungu na una Mungu ndani yako We are talking about restoration Sisi tunaongea juu ya urejesho Have you been restored to God Je umerejeshwa kwa Mungu I know we are looking for restoration of our businesses Aha, Restoration of the tu, things that we lost Some of us have lost our relationship with God and God is calling upon you today He saying my sister you can get what you are looking for but it is found in God Aha Mungu asema kwamba uko tayari kurejesha ile unatafuta lakini lazima ianze ndani ya Mungu If you will understand your purpose Ukielewa hatima yako You must give your life to God Ni lazima upeane maisha yako kwa Mungu There is greatness in you Na kuna ukuu ndani yako But it can never come to to, to be seen Lakini haiwezi kudhihirika If Jesus is not your Lord and your Savior Ikiwa Yesu Kristo sio bwana na mwokozi wako Connect with God Hebu jiunganishe naye Mungu And if you are connected with him Ikiwa umejiunganisha naye According to his purpose Hebu ishi kulingana na Live according to what he has called you to live. I, I, you need to understand the people who are connected with you will either build you or bring you down. If they are human beings, if they are human beings, they should be people that tell you what God is saying. You should not live in sin and your friends are telling you, you know in this world there is no one who is holy. You know what? ndani ya dhambi alafu naenda unajipea moyo ya kwamba katika ulimwengu hakuna ambaye ni mtakatifu. Wale wanasema ni watakatifu, ni vile tu hawajashikwa. Kwa hivyo usijali dada yangu. God is still working on you. I am here to say stop sinning. Sin is abomination before God. Waacha dhambi, dhambi ni laana kwa kwa machoni mwa Mungu. You cannot look at sin and just call it a mistake. Aha, uwezi kuangalia dhambi alafu unanipatiza jina ni makosa. Connect with God. Hebu jiunganishe naye Mungu. Sin will not have power over you. Na dhambi haitakuwa na nguvu ndani ya maisha yako. Jiunganishe na Mungu. And the power of sin will be broken in your life. Na nguvu za dhambi zitavunjwa ndani ya maisha yako. Are you getting me right? Unanielewa dada? Ruth connected with Naomi. Ruth akajiunganisha na Naomi. He found his lineage in Christ Jesus. Na akapata lineage yake Naomi helped Ruth to find her purpose. Naomi akamsaidia kupata hatima yake. Who is helping you to understand your purpose? Ni nani anayokusaidia uweze kuelewa hatima yako? Esther was connected to Mordecai. Esther was connected to Mordecai. Esther alikuwa ameunganishwa kwa Mordecai. His uncle Mordecai knew Esther must end up in the palace. Aha, uncle yake Mordecai alielewa kwamba Esther itambidi aifike He helped Esther to know his purpose in God. Na akamsaidia Esther kuelewa hatima yake katika Mungu. Who are you connected to? Wewe umejiunganisha na nani? Rahab had to accept the spies. Aha, Rahab akapokea wale the spies were able to show Rahab her destiny. Na wale wakamsaidia Rahab kuelewa hatima yake. And the Moses we are talking about was connected to the mother. Na he was connected to Miriam na and they helped him to understand God. Naye Musa ambaye tunaongea juu yake alikuwa ameunganishwa kwa mamake dadake Miriam na wakamsaidia kuelewa hatima yake. Who are you connected to? Ndani ya Mungu. How do you understand your purpose? And you are connected to, to people who are gossipers, backbiters and you are saying hiyo ni tabia yetu kama wa mama uh-huh. i refuse Hello utabwaje hatima ya gossipers ikiwa wale unaganishwa na watu wa kupiga wewe ndio unajua nani alipigwa jana nani hakulala kwake is that your duty who is paying you for it refuse get out aha toka toka kwao connect with god 
Jiunganishe na Mungu. Women who are connected with God. Mama ambao wameunganishwa na Mungu. They have no time. Hawana wakati. To get into what others are doing. Ah kuingia katika mambo wengine wanafanya. Friends are you connected to God? Marafiki mmejiunganisha na Mungu? Are you connected to God? Jiungani umeunganishwa na Mungu? What are you doing about your purpose? Na unafanya nini juu ya hatma yako? Moses grew up. Moses aka Musa I am here to tell you grow up. Ehe Moses alikoma na mimi niko hapa kuambia koma. Grow up. Koma. You must grow up so that you become of age you will make right decisions. Aha ni lazima ukomae ili ukitoa uh, decisions unazitoa vile zinastahili. Moses made right decisions because he had grown up. Aha Musa kaweza kutoa decisions zinazofaa sababu alijiunganisha naye. Women grow up. Adada, refuse akataeni udaku mambo machache machache na wewe unakaa pale unasema ndio refuse Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And when Moses refused he said no. Na Musa alipokataa akasema la. If you continue reading that scripture ukiendelea kusoma hilo you will understand Moses said no. Utaelewa kwamba Mose Musa akasema la. Any man any, any woman that is willing to to understand her purpose. Na dada yote ambaye anatamani kuelewa hatima yake. Must learn to say no. Ni lazima ajifunze kusema la. You must say no to things that don't glorify Ni God. Ni lazima ujiweze kujua kusema hapana kwa mambo ambayo hayamtukuzi Mungu. Don't tell us what do you think I would have done? Aha usije kutuuliza unafikiria tungefanya nini? You, you don't understand what happens in the world today. Ah, Say no to things that don't bring glory to God. Sema la kwa mambo ambayo hayamtukuzi. Say no to sin. Sema la kwa dhambi. The Bible says in, in Titus chapter number 2 uh-huh. verse number 11 and 12. Aha uh-huh. Biblia inasema katika Tito 2 mstari wa 11 na 12. He said the grace of God neema that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Eh, inasema kwamba neema ya Mungu ambayo huleta wokovu imewajia uh, wanadamu wote. That grace, that grace. Na hiyo neema is teaching us inatufunza to say no kusema la to all ungodliness. Kwa yote ambayo si ya kiu. To all wickedness. Kwa dhambi zote. Let me see verse number 12. Hallelujah. It says it teaches us to say no kusema la to all and godliness kwa mambo yote si ya and worldly passions na mambo ya kiulimwengu and to live self controlled lives na kuishi maisha ambayo ina mpangilio upright ambao umesimama and godly lives na maisha ya kiungu in this present katika hichi kizazi when are you supposed to live godly now Nilipi when are you supposed to live upright now when are you supposed to do things that glorify god now say no to sin ni wakati gani listen to me carefully i want to say whoever comes to you and is not a godly person say no to them aha yote ambayo atakujia na i am here to tell women say no to sponsors aha say no to sponsors say no to sugar daddies yes they may be paying your rent say no they may be giving you a lift in their feet say no your purpose uh-huh. and you have entertained sin you're saying but you know na I, am a, I am a single mother he pays my house anana. he's educating my children uh-huh. I am here to let you know connect with God your children will go to school yeah. your house will be paid there is a God in heaven nimekuja hapa kukueleza hata ukawa mama hana bwana huyo sponsor huyo sponsor huyo sponsor kikuja kwako jioni fungia ya nje mwambie huna nafasi hapa tupe nje hello hello sin has no place Dambi in the kingdom of God say no to sin live upright in this generation ambayo ni laini amen Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus loves you. Yes, you are connected to him. He's concerned about your life. Yeah, anat- anatamani are you na anaelewa mambo yako. Je, umejiunganisha naye? Refuse to sin. Kataa kutenda dhambi. Refuse to live ungodly. Kataa kuishi maisha. Refuse to be a worldly woman. Ukataa kuwa dada wa kiulimwengu. 
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. You must refuse what God doesn't like. Lazima uishi na uache ambao Mungu hapendi. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe sana. Quit sin. Achana na dhambi. Turn around. Pinduka. Walk away from sin. Tembea kinyume na dhambi. 2020. Aha, mwaka wa 2020. Say I am making up my mind. Ah, sema mimi nimeuwa. Say I am turning around. Sema mimi nimepinduka. Say I have been misused to too much. Sema nimetumika vibaya. Say people have misused me. Watu wamenichukua. They have oppressed me. Wamenifinyia. I've gone into depression, but I am rising and I am saying 2020. I will be a woman with a difference. I will be a woman who will understand my purpose. Don't harden your heart. We can't live in church. And live in sin. No. Moses refused. He refused. You must refuse. When he refused, he understood God. And God, and God sent him into his, into his destiny. Friends, you must forsake Egypt. Aha. Marafiki lazima tuache misi. The Bible talks in the same chapter. He forsook the pleasures of Egypt. You must forsake Egypt. There are stuff in your life that you must put away. When you put it away, you will understand the purpose of God. There is stuff in your life that you must pour before God and say, God, I am turning around. You will not fear what will happen after you have turned around. He may refuse to pay your house. But you have a destiny in God. He may decide to take what he gave you. Don't own anything from the devil. The devil is not your father-in-law. He's not your uncle. Sin is enjoyable when you are doing it. But after that, the result is death. Turn around women. You can't understand God's purpose and you are walking in sin. Today, 2020, be restored to God. Receive your restoration. Come back to the restorer. Come back to him who restores. He restores my soul. May he restore your soul today. May he restore you today. Say no to Egypt. A singer sang and said, Misri sita rudi. Aha, muimbaji akasema, Mimi misri sita rudi. Wengine wakaima, wakatele, sema kwa shetani. Si muna kale kaimo, muna imbaga kikuyu. Kwa shetani si rudi. Aha, kuna umbu wakiku, muna jima kwa shetani, Mi sita rudi. Ebu imba kidogo. Kwa shetani si itaru. Wewe unasema hutarudi na una vitu zake kwako. Na unatembea katika dhambi. Na unaishi katika dhambi. Wewe kwa shetani hama. Kwa dhambi. Leo ni siku ya kuhama kwa shetani. Leo ni siku ya kusema nimekataa. Dhambi nimekataa. Sugar daddy nimekataa. Sponsor nimekataa. Wizi nimekataa. Corruption nimekataa. Kwa shetani sirudi. 2020 wacha kukaa kwa shetani be restored to god you will understand your purpose you will understand your purpose just like we read in a, 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 in psalm 57 that it is god who fulfills his purpose in us you need to give him your life then he will fulfill his purpose he will heal you he will deliver you. He will set you free. So you need God who fulfills his purpose in your life. Who are you connected to? Friends, 
Rafiki. Are we just church goers? Uh-huh. Are we just religious? Yeah, ni kuja tu kanisa ni dini. Do we just dini? clap our hands? Ni mako mtu tunapiga. And those hands have been walking in dirty places. Na hiyo mikono imekuwa ikiwa. Do we come and lift up our hands and say Lord these are holy hands and you know who they have been touching? Tifu. Today is your day. Na tumekuwa tukivuza guta na kupapasa. No. Leo ni siku yako ya kusema Apana. Jesus loves you. Yesu akupenda. Jesus cares for you. Yesu akujali. Until you say no. Na mpaka useme la. You will never understand your purpose. Hautawahi kuelewa hatima ya Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Ni Mungu ambaye huitimiza hatima yake ndani yetu. Who to bow our heads to pray? Na tunaomba tu inamisha vichwa vyetu tukaombe. Who are you connected? Wewe umejiunganisha na nani? I want you to think about your life. Nataka ufikirie juu ya maisha yako. You want to serve God. Unataka kumtumkia Bwana. I told you how to, to understand your purpose. Lakini ni lazima uelewe hatima yako. But the final part of it. Lakini pa mwisho kabisa. It is only God. Ni Mungu peke yake. Who will help you? Ambaye atakusaidia. He has helped me. Amenisaidia mimi. He has walked with me. Amenitembea na yeye. He has helped others. Amesaidia wengine. You are not an exception. This is the day. Do not make your heart hard. Do not harden your heart. No one may know how you live. But God knows how you live. The people who are your closest friends. But they don't know how you live. But my friend God knows. Lakini Mungu rafiki yangu akuelewa. Proverbs 15 verse number 3. Ah, um, medhali. Medhali 15:3. mstari wa 3. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are everywhere. Biblia inasema macho yake Mungu yako pa kila pahali. Watching everything you do. Ikitazamia kila chochote unachotenda. Watching over the evil and the good. juu ya mema na mabaya. When God sees you. Mungu anapokuona. What does he see? Anaona nini? Women we can never hide from God. Ah, hatuwezi kujificha wa dada. We can hide from people. Tunaweza kujificha kwa watu. But we can't hide from God. Lakini hatuwezi kujificha kwake Mungu. This is the day. Hii ndio siku. Make your life right with him. Fanya maisha yako yawe laini The greatest purpose that you can fulfill. Hatima iliyokuwa ambayo unaweza timiza. Is to give your life to him. Kupeana maisha yako kwa Yesu. If you're not born again, ikiwa hujaokoka, receive Jesus. Okea Yesu. If you are a backslider, living in sin that no one knows, come back to be restored with God. You are an important woman. You are a very, very important person. God loves you, that is why he brought me to tell you what I've said. Respond to him today. And now me to give you an opportunity. To give your life to Jesus. You may never have gotten born again. You are a good church member. But today. Jesus wants to save you. You may have been saved for some time. But you have gone back. But you come to church. You do many things. God wants to restore you. I want to pray for you. Is it you that I'm talking about? You are saying today I'm coming back to God. I'm giving my life to him. Ladies, there is no one to fear. Every man, every, every woman here who will appear before God on their own. But give me an opportunity to pray for you. Would you lift up your hand where you are? Allow me to pray for you. Come, give your life to Jesus. Please show me by lifting up your hand. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter how people know you. It is about you and God. It is you and God, church. If Jesus came into this service, will you go together with him? What would your life be? My sister, because I know you are here, And God sent me to you. Lift your heart. Thank you.
Lift your hand. Don't get afraid. Thank yeah, you. you know, Just lift it. Osiogope. Just lift it. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Osiogope. The devil has nothing good for you. Uh, the the devil cannot give you anything. Our God is a forgiver. He will forgive you. Where are you? You live in sin. You know. Those who are lifting up your hand. Come. Let me pray for you. Just come. Just come. Don't be afraid. Just stand here. Just come. Accept God. Accept Jesus. Come. Come to me. It doesn't matter. Even if you have not lifted your hand. And you know there is something that you want to render to surrender to God. Join up. Please come. You are the one I came for. Listen, there is a voice telling you what will people think about you. This is the last time they will ever think because God is setting you free. Don't listen to that lying voice. The, the devil is saying they will know you are a hypocrite. But you are breaking that hypocritical spirit today. Can you come to me? Come. I know you're here. Thank you. Just come. No devil should hold you down. Please don't give the devil an opportunity. Refuse, refuse, refuse. Tell God I am giving my life to you. Refuse. Surrender. I want to pray with you. We will pray with you. Just come stand with these ladies. I want you to come stand with them. Are you still there? Don't watch. Who is going? Don't begin to say in your flani. Bada neketi. No. This is for you. I still wait for you. You are really struggling. You are the one I'm waiting for. Once you come, I will pray. God loves you. God cares for you.